Today on Marie. From ABC's hit series Body Approved, Wendell Middlebrooks. Plus, how to get that celebrity look from your local thrift store. And the do's and don'ts for finding love online. Marie starts now. through dozens and dozens of style magazines and you wish that you could recreate a fashion look that a certain celebrity is wearing? Well, I'm here to tell you that you do not need to break the bank to do that. My next guest is here to show us how you can get those fabulous looks with a simple trip to the nearest thrift shop. Woo! Yeah. Please welcome the author of New Dress A Day, Marissa Lynch. Marissa, Hi. it's wonderful Hi. to have you here. So nice to be here. Very excited. <laughs> so how, what inspired you to take on this project of thrift shop looking like celebrities? Okay, so celebrities spend and are given things and their budget for their wardrobe is not the same as everyone else. No. I don't have thousands of dollars to go out and spend on Nobody clothes. does. But, and, and you're right. They're given a lot of things to wear. You know, they, they borrow things and they wear designers or whatever. Absolutely. So how, do, how does the average woman be able to do that? Well, it's so easy because you can take your favorite celebrity look and piece it together by going to your thrift store or garage sales, even your own closet. You can pull some things and just pair it together with others and you'll look like a celebrity in no time. We love that. Yes, and I'm actually wearing something. Um, this dress uh, it was an old bridesmaid dress. I love Reese Witherspoon. And this was a beautiful Zach Posen dress she had worn on the red carpet. I took my black bridesmaid dress and added some ribbon and the ribbon cost me a buck. How cute is that? And I feel like a, I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> Yeah, that's darling. Thank you. Thank Do you, you think it's important for women? Sewing is not that difficult. No, I, I, I love it. It's, you can do so many things. And what's fun is it nobody has anything like it. Exactly. It's one of a kind. Yeah. I use some hand stitches. You can use fabric glue, whatever you want to yeah. really recreate these looks. Very, very You've cool. got a lot of fun celebrities to look at. I'm very excited. Oh, that, let's do it. Oh, cool. So, All right. <laughs> our first look is Cameron Diaz. Now, Cameron is such a trendsetter, super stylish, is always super chic. And yeah, fun. and she's turning 40 and she's celebrating it. She's, she's loving beautiful. it. Beautiful. Yeah. So let's bring out Cameron. Well, not the Cameron. Well, not the Cameron. Okay. So, right here, we basically took a thrift store dress, $3, paired it with some ribbon around the waist to really recreate that belt look that she had for her Walk of Fame ceremony. How and then cute Reggie is that? You said that dress was $3? The Three. whole look, $10. <laughs> it's so easy. Thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. Wow. wow. Sorry. I know, it's amazing. Um, our next look is Madeline Stowe. Now, she's been around for a while. She's on Revenge now. Right. She's super chic and classic and tailored, and she's very classy. So, come on out, Madeline. We did a fun replication of her outfit. Now this, it was a white skirt I thrifted, used some dye, and I turned it lavender. And this is just a vintage blouse that I actually took those opaque cuffs from another shirt, stitched them on, and then we just paired a camisole underneath. So you just bought a white skirt and you used dye. That's all. And it's beautiful and lavender. Refresh in your clothes. I love exactly. that. Exactly. And, then and just, it's not difficult to do. It's, you can throw it in your washing machine yeah, and have it done in 30 minutes. It's beautiful. So how much did that all cost? Um, this was $7. $7. Seven yeah. It's amazing, I know. Thank you, Jennifer. That's fantastic. Well, especially because the look is all back. And like, you know, too, at the end of the month, a lot of people move, and they, and that's a great time to go to a thrift oh, store. Oh, absolutely. And the they months, usually get rid of their stuff. Seasonal. Yeah. Um, okay, so our next look is Jennifer Aniston. Okay. She's always out and about looking fabulous and tailored and chic and black and like whites and solids. Right. Come now, Jennifer. We have a fun replication. Now, we just, we paired these with her black, you know, black pants that could come from your closet already. Right. We thrifted this fun vest, and we added a little camisole underneath and a vintage necklace, and we paired with these heels. They were $5.99 at the thrift store. The patent heels get the same look, and she looks amazing. Now, wait, how much was this? This total, this was $11, but if you have the pants in your closet, <laughs> if you have the pants in your closet, it'll be cheaper than that for you. So that's with the pants. So if you have a pair of black pants, then it's, what, You're five good. bucks? Five bucks. Thank you so much, Rebecca. That's so cute. So our next look is Sofia Vergara. Okay. We love Sofia. She's fun and she's sassy, a modern family. She's always bold and beautiful. Right. So come on out, Sofia. We replicated a very cool look of hers. Okay. I mean, we, what, now what I did for that top, I basically took a lace trim that I, I bought the, the cami by itself, added the lace, 
took a black skirt, shortened it, added a blazer, some heels, and she looks like a million bucks. I mean, so, and really, trend is on length of skirt. Absolutely. So, you know, you hem a skirt a little bit, you lengthen it a little bit. And let it out if you want to use it another I season. I do that all the time. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jess. Thanks, Jess. And we've got our final look is Emma Stone. Okay. Now, Emma's adorable. She's been in Spider-Man. She's out and about all the time looking fun and youthful. Come on out, Emma. Now for Emma's look. Okay, I, I love this. I love this. She's that adorable. Is really. So I took a red dress, hiked it up, and basically to get the similar collar action, I used that same shirt that I took the cups from, cut the collar off, added some black lace, and made it a little necklace. Oh wait, and ready? The shoes? Emma oh was my wearing, gosh, can you see the shoes? Okay, Emma was wearing Ferragamos. Oh, look at that. These are done with Mod Podge and fabric. You can go online. There's so many die tutor or DIY tutorials. This was from Love Megan. I just copied the same Mod Podge, painted it on. Fabric stays to your shoe, and look how fabulous they look. Oh, and you know what? I'm kind of known for my shoes oh. in Vegas. I'm known to wear shoes. We're gonna make that's how we do 99% of them. And my dad, she stones them, does all that stuff. My and dog, they're yeah. amazing. Thank that you. That so is much, so Megan. fun. So how much did that cost? So the dress was four bucks. The shoes were two fifty, I believe. I covered them with some fabric, and then the shirt came from the other one that I wow. used before. So is that crazy? It's amazing. Thank you, Megan. I love it. We're gonna bring all the girls out, all the models, yeah, come back out. Please. You don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to have a ton of money. Less than a skirt. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's a whole wardrobe for less than a skirt. That's fantastic. They just look so spectacular. Thank you so oh much. My gosh, you're welcome. Oh my goodness, you're welcome. And for more information on how to dye clothing and do all those things, go to our website. Uh, hallmarkchannel.com and uh, slash Marie and here's her book you'll get information on that too thank you so much oh, we'll be welcome. right back thank you